data storage is the hard disk drives that all computers have. So in the 50s, uh, you had disk drives that were maybe the size of this room. So we looked at the, how, the, how to, to uh, make the technology leapfrog maybe by a factor of 10, which means that uh, the, the disks, instead of being uh, maybe five feet uh, diameter, could shrink to maybe two or three inches. But in the early 2000s, you could actually put lots, record lots of bits on a disk, okay? The problem was now, how would you recover accurately? How could you read these, these bits? These, uh, the, the possibility of cramming all these bits in the disk that allowed you to, to make the space where you record the bit very, very small. What that meant is that once you were able to do it, you'd still want to recover those bits accurately. Okay, and that's where my work would come in. I brought my signal processing to develop what we call detectors. Okay, detectors means you need algorithms that uh, when the head of the disk reads back, reads from the disk is an electrical signal, converts that signal into a zero or one, decides this is a zero, this is a one. So we designed the detector and that detector turned out to be quite successful. Uh, and that, that, that is what led to uh, being able to shrink the size of computers to your current laptops. In the, in the early 2000s, it became a must-have technology. 60% at least of the com all computers that were built in the 2000s up to now, essentially incorporate this type of technology, this type of detector. But nowadays, everything gets digitized and stored in the computer. What I do now is actually look at these uh, data from many different, uh, many different applications or uh, failures in, uh, in uh, systems, very, very large scale critical infrastructures like the power grid, uh, you have the uh, blackouts. How can you predict or how can you, um, from the data that you collect uh, from these very large distributed systems, how can you figure what, what is relevant? What are the behaviors? What is expected in terms of, uh, of uh, how these uh, systems are gonna behave? We live in very interesting times. The amount of data that is being collected is tremendous, okay? And it's uh, from all sorts of potential different applications. So one, uh, one domain I'm very interested in is to develop the algorithms that allow the uh, urban planners, for example, to th rethink the way they, they actually dimension their own cities. So this is an example of uh, where signal processing and uh, my students um, have uh, significantly, I think, contributed to the advance of technology.